In our previous lesson, we learned how blood flows through blood vessels and transports oxygen, food, etc. to different organs and tissues. So, we must now learn about the special pump that keeps this transportation system running. Yes, our heart. Your heart is beating means you are alive. Heart is made of muscles. Systemic contraction and relaxation of these muscles causes the heart to beat. We can call these muscles cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles contract and relax in a fixed rhythm. If you listen to someone's heartbeat, you will hear a rhythmic sound. What is that sound? Let's understand. Heart has four chambers. Upper two chambers are called atria or auricles. There are right auricle and left auricle. Two lower chambers are called ventricles. There are right ventricle and left ventricle. When whole heart is relaxed, veins pour blood into auricles of heart. This relaxed stage is called diastole stage. Then auricle or atrium contracts. Contraction of heart is called systole. Blood is pushed into the ventricles, right atrium to right ventricle, left atrium to left ventricle. Then ventricle contracts, blood is pushed into the arteries, then blood flows through this arteries to different part of body. Now the question is, why can't blood return to auricle when ventricle is contracting? There are valves between auricles and ventricles. These are like doors which open towards ventricle only. So when ventricle is contracting, pressure pushes the blood into arteries as blood cannot go back to auricles. Now the second question, why do we need four chambers? Blood supplies oxygen, food, etc. to different organs and return to right atrium means that blood has less oxygen now. It needs to get oxygen before it takes the next trip for oxygen supply. Where would it get oxygen? Yes, the lungs. So right auricle to right ventricle and then this blood sends to lungs. The artery which carries this blood to the lungs is the pulmonary artery. Blood gets oxygen from lungs. We discussed the process in an earlier lesson. Now it is oxygenated blood. It returns to left atrium. Left atrium pumps this blood into left ventricle. Then left ventricle pumps the oxygenated blood into an artery called aorta. Many arteries come out of this aorta like branches. Those arteries carry oxygenated blood to different organs of body. The heart sounds we hear is actually sound of closing valves. There are two normal heart sounds, love and dove. First sound is produced when valves between auricle and ventricle shut, blocking the reverse blood flow towards auricle. This sound is called first heart sound or S1. The second heart sound is produced that is dub when Semilunar valves shut and stops blood from returning to ventricles from aorta and pulmonary artery. So, valves play very important role in maintaining direction of blood flow. Let's see the whole process of blood circulation in short. Right auricle receives deoxygenated blood through two major veins from whole body. Then it pumps this deoxygenated blood into right ventricle sends this blood to lungs through pulmonary artery. Oxygenated blood from lungs comes back to heart at left auricle through pulmonary vein. Then oxygenated blood enters left ventricle. Left ventricle pumps this blood into aorta. Many arteries branched out from aorta carries the blood to whole body. 